We're going to begin by really uh, looking at uh, Romans chapter 8, verses 6 through 8. And it states, Now the mind of the flesh, which is sense and reason without the Holy Spirit, is death. Death that comprises all of the miseries arising from sin, both here and hereafter. But the mind of the Holy Spirit is life and soul, peace, both now and forever. That is because the mind of the flesh with its cardinal thoughts and purposes is hostile to God, for it does not submit itself to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. So when those who are living the life of the flesh, catering to the appetites and impulses of their carnal nature, cannot please or satisfy God or be acceptable to him. Leading Christian author A.W. Tozar wrote, what we think about when we are free to think about what we will, that is what we are or will soon become. The Bible has a great deal to say about our thoughts. The reason the Bible says so much is that our thoughts are so vitally important to us. Our voluntary thoughts not only reveal who we are, they predict what we will become. And except for that conduct which springs from our basic natural instinct, all conscious behavior is preceded by and arises out of our thought and thought processes. Not only do we need to correct our thoughts, but we must also go further and actually crucify the old natural mind and receive an entirely new mind in Christ. 